Hello and welcome to another I Explores. Today happens to be Christmas Day, so we're going to have a look uh, around the streets and see how quiet it is. I hope you're all having a good time and that. And I uh, wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, which probably when you watch this, it may be over, I'm not sure. So on with the video. I'm currently there. Okay, so people's park through there. And I'm going to head off down some of these streets and we'll go through town and uh, just have a look, basically. So let's go. Okay, so I'm currently stood on Bethlehem Street. Very empty, apart from the odd car around. Let's go around this way. So the Christmas tree must be lit up still. No, weird. Oh, it is. <laughs> ah, I would have thought they kept the lights on it. Would have been what day it is. Pigeons around. Oh, daft noise. But yeah, it's very, very uh, quiet. I love doing these. It's like there's no one around. It's like one of them films, isn't it? Like 28 days later or something. We're going to carry on and we're going to go through town anyway, uh, down Freeman Street and roundabout. All right, let's move on. So I've now just come from the bull ring over there. See, nothing's happening to Wilco still. Move this way. Right down Victoria Street. You would have thought they left the lights on, wouldn't you? But obviously not. Okay, let's move a bit further down. Right, still carrying on down Victoria Street. One of the side streets there. The old Copeland's has gone. A few people are out on bikes and that, so we're hanging on, I'm going to keep going. Okay, carrying on walking through the abandoned streets of Grimsby on a, a Christmas day. Hmm. Maybe it's always like this now, though, isn't it? Since uh, a lot of the shops are closed in there. It's usually quiet. Well, it's been a Monday and everything else. But yeah, it's just a strange feeling. Never get it like this often, not even on bank holidays. <laughs> but Christmas you do. I think all the things I've knocked down down here in a time, what I've done on past videos, pubs, houses, mansions even. Yes, there was a mansion over in that direction there. Where the, I've just passed it now, but where the Argos used to be. Yes, we have pubs of Queen's Head, King's Head and whatever you in this area where I'm just walking past now. Coming up to uh, the end of Victoria Street and up to the barge. I'm going to have a look at this new, uh, I don't know, what you'd you call it, seating area, which is in here. Let's go and have a look. OK, so I've come up to this new area now. Looks like they planted some trees, as you can see. And I don't really know, you can't really see what they've done apart from putting planters in lot. I don't know. Probably be nice in the summer, I would have thought. That looks like a Christmas tree, doesn't it? Well, they all do. If I'm coming for a quote here, it could be, my pines! Anybody know what that's off? Comments below. If you know the film, you'll understand what I'm on about. Because they do look like pines. Yeah. So I'm going to carry on and move a bit further around. Wind up there, I featured on a video. It's part of the Wesleyan Church up there. Still there. Yeah, I believe this used to be a church, can not it? Did it on a video in the past. See up there, look as well. Both of these buildings. This is uh, New Street, if you're wondering. This is the library up there. It's a big car park. Yeah, you would have thought they'd have put the lights on, but there you go. Let's go around the corner out to Town Hall Square in a second. You don't often see town like this. Okay, it's not that busy, but not often. And Doughty Road, the old town hall there. Built in 1863. It's the fourth one, which I've done a video on. The other ones was back up there. The old corporation school, that's one of them. Got it 1867 up there, bit of history going on. But uh, it's supposed to be like an abandoned streets video. <laughs> I know I can't stop myself with my history bits, but I just think it looks really good. So we're going to keep walking along. So I'm heading to Pasture Street next. So 
that big meal one on the wall there. There's a few of them around town, isn't there? The big fish there, look. That's a distance away, but a few people around. The old town hall, done a video of that, the old time trap, if you want to have a look at that one. And I've been round there as well, filming the uh, ball uh, is it party room, ballroom, whichever you want to call it in there. A really nice video of that I did, not long back. There's going to be a lot more this coming year, though. I've had a lot planned, so keep uh, your eye out for coming on. And the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe. The notification bell will tell you when I've uploaded again. So you can see my content. And hopefully I can make it to a thousand subscribers this, within this next year. Let's, I'm hoping that. <laughs> It'll be really nice to get to that, uh, that landmark. There's the girls' school. I'm going to try and get into some buildings this uh, this year as well. I'm going to. Um, I've got friends that uh, know council people and that, so I'm going to see if I can get into some of these. Hopefully, come around to where the old Hewitt's Brewery was. It wasn't just there; it was on this side as well, where that wall is. The uh, courts is it now? You see, as I come round the corner here, that's where they first started on this street. But yeah, it's. Uh, there it is, I knocked it all down, I remember it. You see a thing going across the road to the other part, which is over there where the Wellington is. That used to be part of it as well. But I've done videos and all this, so oh, look at that squirrel. Squirrel down there. Hello, squirrel. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I'm now come down past your street. I'm looking back that way onto Victoria Street there. There's a Wellington. I'm coming up to the Pasture Street crossing. I don't think there's any trains running today, I'm not sure. <laughs> Definitely is on a Christmas day. Have a look down here. This used to be one of the yards. I can't remember the name of it, but it was there. I'm not sure if it could be one of my dust yards I'll be, be doing a video on soon. Maybe, so let's uh, let's move on. Went across the crossing there. Done uh, railway videos in the past, I'll probably do a few more as well. The things you like, you can see up there, look. The Great Grimsby Coal Salt and Tanning Company. I remember when they moved that sign. I think I did a video on it at the time. There's Bowling Green Lane. Pasture Street carries on down there. And obviously Norris the Rubber Man was down there, which I've done videos on in the past. So I'm going to head down this way, I think. Right down this way. Yeah, this will do nice. There used to be a pub on the corner there, right in front. It's called, I think it's called the railway. I think it's just railway on its own, or the lo, locom, was it the locomotive? I can't remember which one. I'm not very good at remembering things like that without any pieces of paper and that, but there was. It's railway related, I'll say that. You can see there, look. The sign, I've just shown you that. I love the mosaic pattern on there above that door. I mean, you don't get that anymore. This is Robinson Street East. This is Home Street. And there did used to be where that broken wall is a bridge to go over that side, over to, to Queen Street there. And then down there as well. All these industries around here. And I'll see the oil, the oil uh, millers on the corner where the, the thingy mart is now. And then the oil place itself, which is where Azaz is over there. Yeah, a lot of things that have come and gone over the years. So, uh, okay, let's keep going. And that one, Bradley Street. The right in front of us there is Ayton Avenue, which previously was called Ayton Street. I forgot to mention that on some videos. Yeah, it was called Ayton, Ayton Street. And obviously, there was a Christmas tree on the roundabout on Ayton Square, which I think I said about before. There was a lot of industries around here too. So the oil mill was over that way, where Astor's is, and the actual old Miller's pub is a around this corner here, which I've done videos on before. It's that uh, machine mark place, as I just mentioned. So uh, let's keep going. Okay, so I've now come down here, like I was just saying. That's where the oil millers were still on that corner. Look across the car park there at Asda. I don't often see it like that. Absolutely empty. I'm going to go across there in a minute. And uh, I'll do a bit of talking. And walking still. So we're now on, it should be Ollie Street, if I'm right. And yes it is. There we go. And it ran all over there. Okay, carried on that way, sort of curved round. 
seen it on many of maps. And all the empty roads are looking towards Aiton Square. Okay, let's move on. Not often you can stand in the middle of the road like that. I'll just wait a second, look. Not often. <laughs> looking towards town. Really, it's gone green. Okay, let's go to Round Asda's car park. Okay, so I'm now in a very empty Asda's car park. Now all this, so I've come from down there, it used to be Ollie Street ran through here. I uh, recently seen a picture when they knocked all the houses down, it's just full of housing round here, absolutely full of it. Basically back to back, and it's sort of, Ollie Street went round in sort of like a, an horseshoe shape from the maps I've seen. But standing here, these buildings, that one there and that one there, are actually on the picture of, um, you know, when all the houses had been knocked down. Somebody taken a picture from somewhere over there at the edge of the road, which ran down there and took it. So it was pointing in that direction. Okay, so we're now on Freeman Street. A few people about. I can hear a lot of music being played. Some of the pubs down here have got a lot of people in them. Probably can hear some. <laughs> Uh, let's carry on walking a bit, a bit lively around here. There we go. Walking a bit further down Freeman Street now. I've just spotted something. I'm going to get this, go and get this on the camera where the old cinema was up there, look. Now there's some writing. I can see it. It's very faded. There's something bargain day Tuesday or something like that in there. I can't remember what that was after the cinema actually closed properly. I can just make it out. Okay, let's move down. Okay, I just met up one of my uh, subscribers there, randomly down Freeman Street, the very nice people. Garibaldi Street. Here we go, all quiet. The old market, it used to be Martin Spencer's. Just fell down in the wind, look. Come down from up there, that. I we'll see we had them strong winds the other day. There we go. A lot of old places down here that I've covered. There's the butchers on the end there, that was a bank. And the old corporation, and that's been there for a long time and still in use. One of the, uh, it's one of the only pubs that's still around, it's original, I think, down here, as far as I know, anyway, from what I did the research on, but it's still there and it's uh, the lounging areas are listed, so I must get in there one time and partake in a few pints, as you do. Okay, let's move on. I'll walk a bit down here, I think. I've heard a few people having a Christmas drink, and why not? I shall be partaking myself later on. So, yeah, it's Freeman Street, so let's go turn down Nelson Street. That's where the older uh, Cox's was, just there, not that down a while ago. See the pea bungan is still going. One of the oldest uh, fish and chip shops in town. I think it is the oldest, as far as I know. If anybody knows different, please comment below. There we go. And where all the flats were. Okay, let's move around. I heard some uh, bad language here. I might have to edit that off if it's come through on the microphone. Uh, somebody arguing. So we, uh, you only, let's go across here. Now the old flats where I mentioned that too many times and the Crescent, that must be there for the flats. It just makes you wonder what they're gonna do with all this. I mean, I don't know. It's like I've said before in a few videos, a lot of areas like this now, a lot of it, they knock it down and they don't do anything. There you go. Okay, let's uh, move on a bit. Oxford Street now. I'm leaving, but... <laughs> there we go. See the old Lumpers Club there in the distance. It's now all flats, I believe, and I think there's a workshop on the side of it. Which somebody told me in the comments once was a St. John's, was it? That greyish building there, the white one's obviously where the Lumpers Club was. And there's the Fisherman's Mission and the... Uh, that bread shop used to be on the corner without looking again at me notes. I can't remember its name, but it was there. Well, then again, there was a lot of shops down here. They're very much so all the way along this stretch. Oak Street, one of the famous streets in Grimsby, totally all demolished and gone. 
things have been put, you know, different things have been built on it, obviously, like in there. And here, the Casablanca. And I've seen many of pictures of this street in the past, especially the war ones here. They had, uh, they had massive parties at the end of the war, Second World War, that was probably the first as well. Probably, and all that that was celebrating. Yeah, so that's what that is in there now. Coming up to it. A workshop. There's the old Casablanca. I thought that might have been open today, actually, but maybe not. Would it have been Christmas Day? I'll walk out onto Victor Street in a minute. Okay, now out onto Victor Street now. Walking up this way. Very empty down here, the odd car, but not a lot. They passed the ice house, which did used to be that in its past. It's had a recent thing put on the top there. Watching that be built, I wonder what, uh, what that is or why it's there, I don't know. If I go behind me, I see not a lot of people about, usually very busy down here, especially up there on the Cleethorpe Road, where I'm usually busy, but obviously it's not here, Christmas Day. So I'm going to get across the road. There's a shop over there. And you usually can't do this. Right, let's walk a bit further. The sign's still there, look. I did one down the other side there. I found a, 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 one of them keypads while I was walking around the other day. Doing a video. Okay, so uh, I think I'll uh, end this video here, and uh, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Even you may be watching this after Christmas or near, I'm not sure. But I'd like to thank everybody who's um, supported me on my channel. Keep going, please, yeah? All you new viewers, please subscribe. And uh, there will be a lot more content, like I've probably mentioned too many times, in the new year coming. I've got quite a few things planned. Uh, so I'm doing research on. I think one of the first ones, I think I'm keep mentioning this one, these are my dust yards. It's going to be a bit of research, but there will be things in between. So uh, on that note, please all like and subscribe after you've watched this video. And I'll see you all next time on the next video. Bye for now.